What's up guys, if you're interested in winning this Pokemon Adidas collab t-shirt, size large, or if you're interested in this Charizard Hidden Fates tin, check the giveaway video link in the description below. It's completely free to enter and this run until June 30th. Good luck to everyone who enters. Peace. Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to part 2 of the Rebel Clash booster box opening. If you haven't seen part 1, I would encourage you guys to go watch it to see what we pulled, but we did get some decent pulls in that part, so I don't think you guys will be disappointed. But we're moving on to part 2, which is the right half of this box, as you can see right here. So um, without further ado, let's just pull these packs out, and just get straight into it. So I believe I still have two more packs for you guys, um, to give you the code cards, so let's just start from the top. We have a Rillaboom pack. And this is a green code, and code for you guys. One, two, three, four to the front. So let's just get right into it. So we have a Dark Energy, Indeedy, a Skyla. Skyla's actually back in rotation, so very cool. A Electrode, Toxel, Litwick, a Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, a Reverse Binacle, and a Ludicolo Non-Hollow. Very cool, just very green, this card. A lot of green going on. And one more code for you guys to start off. Code for you. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Grass Energy, Galar Mine, a Kevin Durant, Electrode, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, a Dreepy, Snover, a Reverse Impidimp, and a Cinderace V Max. Let's freaking go. Jeez, like. I mentioned this in the previous part, but every VMAX is just so vibrant, it's so colorful. Like the swirls, the like the sparkle effects in the back. Such an amazing card. Quickly sleeve this up before I put any more damage to it. But man, love the VMAX cards. Personally, I think it's a lot better than the Rainbow Rares. Um, yeah, I just that's just my opinion. But yeah, I just like these a lot more than the Rainbow Rares. I feel like the Rainbow Rares, um, it is cool. I guess the first, you know, when it first came out, it was really cool. But then, if you compare that to this one, I'd rather have this. Um, it's just a lot more, I guess, dynamic. There's a lot more going on. Awesome, that's a great way to start off this box. So, um, let me just sort these cards out real quick. Okay. So my camera did fall over, but we're back. So, starting off with a, well not starting off, moving on to a Inteleon pack. One, two, three, four, to the front. We have a Lightning Energy, Metapod. It's not Claymation, it's definitely Yarn. A Heliolisk, Burning Scarf, Scyther, Nosepass, a Wingle, Coughing, a Bronzor, a Reverse Magmar, and a Zacian uh, non Halo. Very cool. And have you guys downloaded the new DLC for the Isle of Armor? Let me know. Um, I had it downloaded. I haven't started playing it. Um, I do plan on playing it on Twitch, so if you guys want to follow me over there, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen. But we have a Fighting Energy, Electro, Zatu, a Lombre, Coughing, a Bronzor, Toxel, Litwick, a Lotad, a Reverse Charge Bug, and a Ninetales V. Very cool. Very simple, very like elegant. That's just the Pokemon that Ninetales is. Very nice. We got a Rillaboom pack. And it is a white coat, so pretty exciting. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Fire Energy, Pokeball, Pelipper, a Speed Energy, Galarian Mr. Mime, Snowbur, a Pidove, Darumaka, Hatena. A Reverse Spirit Tomb, and a Clefable Holographic. Very nice. Very, very nice. This kind of reminds me, but I think currently, or this weekend, um, Pokemon Go is having an event where you can get a Shiny Clefairy. Because it's like the Lunar or Solstice event or something. So if you guys do play Pokemon Go, definitely um, go out there, do some research, catch some Clefairies. Um, yeah. So we got a Psychic Energy. 
Burning Scarf, a Ndidi, Skyla, very playable, Darmaka, Hatena, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, a Ludicolo Reverse, very nice, and a Galarian Darmanitan, very cool. I believe this pack is for you guys in terms of the code. So um, we got a green code and there you go. Two, three, four to the front. Starting off with a Metal Energy, Halucha, Morgren, a Metacham, Honedge, Timple, Bullaby, Galarian Corsola, Toxel, a Reverse Barbarical, and a Trevenant non holo Very cool card. I like the concept of Trevenant and also Phantom. I think the concept of those Pokemon is pretty cool. Code for you guys. One, two, three, four. To the front. We have a Water Energy, Speed Energy, Metapod, Heliolisk, Corsola, Toxel, Mr. Mime, Snowbur, a Pidove, a Reverse Metatite, and a Diggersby non hollow Kind of in a dry spot right now. Uh, let's see. Okay. Right as I say that, we get a white code. And there's a code for you guys. As mentioned in the previous video, please only take one code if you can. I'll leave the rest for some other people. So we have a Dark Energy, a Hatram, Pokeball. I did see something, just gonna cover that up. We have a Pokeball, a Lampent, Impotent, a Bunnelby, Phantom, Dreepy, a Farfetch'd, a Reverse Bunnelby, and we have a Double V. Very nice. We all know that Wulu was much better than Double, but still, can't complain with a V card. So we have a Double V. Moving on to this pack, and we have a code for you guys. One, two, three, four, to the front. So we have a Grass Energy, Metacham, a Pokeball, Pelipper, Dreepy, Farfetch'd, Honedge, Timple, a Volibee, Grimmsnarl Reverse. That's our first Grimmsnarl. Also with a Reverse, very cool and a Wishcash non hollow We're nearing to the halfway point for this part, so hopefully we can pull something good in the remaining packs. So we have a Lightning Energy, a Captious Bucket, very uh, very playable, very good, Turfield Stadium, a Carcoal, our first one I believe, Surskit, Magikarp, a Metatite, Milcery, Growlithe, a Reverse Skyla, very nice, and a Probopass, Mr. Super Mario right there, non hollow because Skyla is back in rotation now, um, if you guys remember her full art, I think it was in one of the XY sets. So the price for that card has just gone up, you know, out of nowhere. So, yeah, it's crazy what the Pokemon rotation can do, especially when cards become playable again from like older, I guess, um, sets and stuff. But yeah, definitely want to get a copy of that one if I can. So we have a Metal Energy, a Lampent, Halucha, Morgrem, Milcery. Growlithe, Impidimp, Bunnelby, Phantom, a Reverse Sonya, I believe that's our first one from this booster box. And we have a Flapple Holographic, very nice. I think the concept of Flapple Applin is just so interesting, but I, I'm a big fan of it. It's like an apple and the worm and then like it becomes a dragon somehow, someway, but yeah. Can we get a gold card? Um, that is the question. Alright, so we have a Water Energy, Heliolisk, Dewblade, Heracross, a Yin Mask, Applin, Hatena, an Aerocuda, a Meowth, Reverse Morpico, and a Obama Snow. I said Obama Snow. Obama Snow um, non hollow. Alright, how many packs do we have left? We have. Five packs left. So let's see how this part is gonna end. So we have a white code. One, two, three, four to the front. So we have a dark energy, carcoal, hat trend, pokeball, aracuda, meowth, surskit, magikarp, metatite, a metapod reverse, and a dragapult V. Very nice. Very nice card. Um I don't know if it's this one or the VMAX version, but I believe one of these are playable, like very playable, it's like good in a deck, so very nice. I think it's kind of crazy how, um, especially with like these like, you know, these um, GMAX or like GX, EX, V cards, like the value or like the hype of a holographic, like 
this card right here. Like, it's not, there isn't really that much like of a draw or like an incentive. Unlike the older WotC sets where like getting a holographic is like the best thing you can get in a booster box. Or even like a booster pack, so times have changed, different times. But let's take a closer look at the Stragapult V. I love how like they make the eyes holographic, like the GP eyes and also the Dragapult eyes. Very cool. And also the shiny version of this, um, I think it looks pretty sick because it has yellow. And yellow is one of my favorite colors, so definitely a very cool shiny. If they ever do release a shiny card of that, um, just know that I'm picking up a bunch of copies of it. So we got four packs, one of each artwork. So um, I'm just going to divide the packs like this so that you guys can have these codes in these packs and then I'll keep these codes. So let's get on to the Inteleon pack. So code for you guys. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Grass Energy, a Palisand, a Linea, Twin Energy, Voltorb, a Sandy Gas, Vulpix, Coughing, a Shinx, a Reverse Obama Snow, and a Barrascuta non halo I keep saying Obama Snow when it's Obama Snow. Alright, last code for you guys. Please use it well. Also, let me know if you guys get anything good from these codes. One, two, three, four to the front. So we have a Lightning Energy, Heracross, Captious Bucket, Turfield Stadium, Hoffing, Shinx, a Yamask, a Applin, Hatena, Scoop Up Net, very usable, and a Malamar VMAX Rainbow Rare. That's a mouthful, but man. Woo! That's a... Uh, that's a pretty sick rainbow rare, I must say. I actually like how they include the rainbow pattern or like the coloring within the Pokemon because I don't know if they did it in the regular rainbow rares, but it was just plain silver. And then you had to like kind of like move the card around, but I like the inclusion of the rainbow pattern or the coloring on these cards because it definitely makes it stand out from like the background. Very, very cool card. And because there's so many different variants of like, you know, these uh, cards, like there's a holographic pattern, or there's a hollow, regular hollow, there's a V card, and now there's like a VMAX, and a Rainbow Rare. It's just so hard to complete a set. You have to throw down so much money just to have a, not even a master set, but just like a complete regular set of, you know, any of the modern Pokemon sets. So let me quickly put this in the sleeve. If you're wondering why I'm using these like orange yellow sleeves, it's because I'm trying to match the color of the set with the color of the Elite Trainer Box um, that had the Kaparaja on it. So that's a big reason why I'm using these sleeves. On to our final two packs. So let's go with this Rillaboom one first. So we have a Fighting Energy, Shuckle, Luxio, a Kevin Durant, Snover, Natu, Shrubbish, Pidove, Helioptile, a Reverse Barboach, and a Cinderace V. I was expecting like a holographic, but we have a Cinderace V. Jeez, I love like the yellow splash in the back. So kind of like, I guess, contrast with the red. Maybe it's been a while since I've opened a booster box, but I forgot how like, you know, consistent booster box pull rates are. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just so used to like, opening just regular packs or just like, Elite Trainer Boxes where like it's not really guaranteed, but Booster Boxes are kind of the way to go if you want to complete sets. So we have a Cinderace V. Full Art, I believe. This is a Full Art. And after this last pack, I will be doing a recap of all the pulls that we got, so um, please stay tuned to the end. So we have a Fighter Energy, Twin Energy, Heliolisk, Dewblade, Piddov, Helioptile, Voltorb, a Sandy Gas, Vulpix, a Reverse Aracuda and a Greedent Non-Holographic. So let me just sort out everything, clean up my workspace, and then uh, I will show you guys all the pulls that we got in this box. So I did a final count of the number of hits that we got in this box, and we got 15. Um, to my knowledge, I feel like this is a little bit more than average, because I think the average is 12. I could be wrong, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So we have a Clefable Holographic, we have a Flapple Hollow, Gyarados Hollow, a Dragapult Holographic, Surfetched Holographic, and now we're moving on to the V cards. We have a Dragapult V, Sanaconda V, Toxtricity V, Double V, Ninetales V, 
And then now we have, I believe this is our only full art. We have a full art Cinderace V. We have a Cinderace V Max uh, full art. Or I guess the full art for the V card. And then now we have a V Max full art. We have a Copper Raja V Max full art. We have a full art trainer Alenia. And last but not least, we can't forget about the Malamar V Max Rainbow Rare. But yeah, 15 hits in one booster box is insane. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this booster box. I do plan on getting maybe one or two more. Um, or I might just go all in and go in on the Darkness of Blaze set. I do want to buy a case of booster boxes. And what a case is, is six booster boxes. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this booster box. Um, I think for me, I love doing these booster box openings because it's so fun. It's so consistent in terms of how many things you can get per booster box. And I just love opening booster packs. Um, I'm sure that anyone else who has opened booster packs before, just uh, just opening a pack and like not really knowing what you're gonna get, I think that's just like the most exciting part of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel. I'm currently running a giveaway, so that video link will be in the iCard above somewhere, and also the link will be in the description below. Also, I have a Twitch channel where I'll be streaming the new um, Isle of Armor DLC. So if you guys want to come and follow me, um, please do so. I'll put that on the screen as well. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.